Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you how to perform straight line asset depreciation calculation hype in space. I know many of you are not familiar with this term, how to calculate straight line asset depreciation. So I'll show you how it works in Excel and the same example we do in space. Let's understand the concept first. Straight line asset depreciation is calculated, can be calculated in Excel as well. Let's try to understand simple language. Assume I have an asset over here called machinery or simple machine. Okay. And the initial cost of the, the initial cost of machine is 9000. Okay. And there are three parameters initial cost, salvage value, salvage a leftover value at the end of the machine life. What would be the cost of the machine? So I assume after five year the life is there are the machine has five year of life after five year the machine cost would remain 750 it takes three argument so in excel we calculate this through sln function and the same we have in as base it takes three argument if you understand in excel you can do easily in as base it takes three argument initial cost salvage value and life of the product so output is 650 we can also calculate this in a more simpler manner so machine cost minus salvage value divided by 5 is 1650 right this is how exactly it calculates now let's see how it happens in a space in order to do this we'll do it in two step first i write uh, i do it in three steps first we prepare a calculation prototype the next step uh, we prepare we prepare an excel sheet where we validate the data uh, this is so we prepare a excel sheet with sample data and as base output This is called reconciliation sheet where we can compare our expected output and as base output. And finally, I'll execute, execute the calc and test the output. We'll do this in four steps, three steps. Okay, let's prepare a calculation prototype first. So, in order to perform calculation, as space uses this function, as space uses a function called SLN exactly same as Excel first part would be the initial cost of the asset salvage at the end of the uh, Asset life and life of the asset So after five years, let's say product cost will remain 750 okay. The fourth argument optional we'll see in next example So as we know it takes three argument. Let's write a calculation for this So I'm using sample basic outline in which I prepare I already added a member named as asset which has got machinery is my asset salvage life and the output is going to store under SLN depreciation I write a basic calculation over here file new let's set a basic calculation I close it Okay, it's not opening. Let me op use existing calculation. I did this. Now it takes three argument. I write it once again. Output is going to store store in a uh, outline member under asset asset line depreciation. It takes three argument. First argument is cost, machinery. Second argument is salvage, and third argument is life of the asset okay. I validate this it has no error and I save it this is a simple example I do this in next example we'll see how to calculate uh, for multiple time period this is done my calculation prototype is ready now how do I ensure it is correct or not in order to do this I prepare three Excel sheet okay. first Excel sheet I call 
sample data or blessed data, right? So I'm expecting this output to be at the end of the day. I, I connect it with the smart view, okay, and I test some sample data. Session timeout, I'll connect once again. So let's test for one product. Keep only one product for one market. I calculate for New York. One scenario. And for my major is assets. And we'll calculate only for one month for now. In next example, we calculate for multiple months. Okay. So this is my sample data, right? Same example I shown you in Excel sheet, which consists of, uh, which consists of our machine initial cost, salvage value of year. Same input I've given over here. So my expected output is 1650, right? The same. Now I under SBS output. Under SBase output, I would like the output to be calculated by SBase. I'll be capturing over here. So in the beginning, I delete all the data in order to ensure that we don't have old data for the sake of testing. I have no data over here when I retrieve. I have no data, right? I tag the color data with different color to represent which is user input which is to be calculated. To be calculated member, I make it as a gray color so that it demonstrates user input is not allowed over here. Okay, user input is not allowed. So I put the same value 9000 machine value. Okay, uh, salvage is 750 and life is 5 year. SLN would to be calculated. I input data and write back to S space. Write back to S space, right? Now SLN value to be calculated. This is the sample data expected output. This is the output from S space. Now we calculate the variance. The variance should be pretty straightforward. Should be the difference between expected output and S space output, right? So I simple write sample data minus S base output. I put zero everywhere. If we have any variance between my as base output and Excel output to be highlighted over here. That's it So validate Then I run it run Execute successfully. We'll test the output As base output I test I retrieve refresh and I found 1650 over here. We directly check the variance My variances are zero Right all variance are zero. It means I got the same output as expected from Excel. Now let's extend this example and calculate for the number of period. Okay. Now I calculate for multiple period. Okay. Now I assume in this example, uh, I would like to calculate for multiple period. Okay, we spend thousand more bucks. I spend one thousand more, and in repairing. So assume. Uh, whatever we assume over here, this is a machine value for the month of January. In the month of February, I spent thousand more bucks to in order to repair it because I spent one more thousand rupees to repair the machinery. The life of machine increased, right? The machine life increase. Salary value remains same. Or the initial cost of the machine got increased okay and we'll recalculate now so previously we calculated c3 machine salvage and life now total cost of the machine become machine cost become 10,000 right and now once again I calculate so SLN my initial cost of the machine is 10,000 salvage value remains same and life also remains same now output is 1850. So in case uh, machine in this example, now the output should be 1850, right? 
output should be 1850 now let's do the same thing so I modify and I add multiple months over here I input value 1000 this remains 0 this life is 5 I write back this data this time I calculate for the month of February and March as well right and this time I calculate from February and March as well right this is my variance sheet so let me add a range over here I like to calculate for January to March save so we put the range over here January to March validate and execute execution done successfully now we validate the data under as base output I retrieve refresh I see it's 1850 1850 is this what we expected yeah, it's the same output let's look at the variance all variances are zero okay there's a variance in salvage there's something wrong in the input it's a missing so i make it zero so you see the variances are zero everywhere this is how we can calculate a straight line depreciation for a specific period or the range of period subscribe to our youtube channel to access more videos today we are stopping here should you have any question please feel free to write to us our website is bispsolution.com. Do watch our next video for uh, for airspace next calculation. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.